Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Ace channel. JavaScript Lesson 21. We will talk about custom objects. All throughout this JavaScript playlist, we have created custom objects through object literals. But in this lesson, we are going to create our own constructor so that we can create our own custom objects. Let's get into it. First, we need a constructor. So let's create a person class. So when I say class, it's the constructor that we have to create. So function and let's assume that this person has a name. So I'm going to create this dot name equals to the past in name. Okay, this is the constructor. Okay, now we have added a property to this cons uh, to this class. Now we can add, add a method. To add a method, we have to use the constructor's prototype property. Okay, so do person dot prototype and here we have object literal and we have the method of greet. It just returns the, sorry, returns this dot name. So it will return the name of this object. That is, it is calling. I have to add that. Okay, finally, we can create a person object. So let's create John and we use the new keyword to create John, uh, to create John person. And we pass in the name of that person. So we do that like this. Finally, let's console log the John object. As you can see, we have the name John and we should have the greet function. There you go. Now, if I call the greet function from John object, we are going to see his name. Okay. So that's one way of creating new custom objects. So constructor, then we have the methods that we want. Of course, we can have now this age equals to age and pass in age as well so we can do uh, 24 and if we say and if we look at the object fresh we get two properties name and age okay now let's get into the ob let's create objects using the object create method. Okay, object create method. Now let's comment, remove the comments here. And object has this create method. First, as the first parameter, we need to pass in the constructor prototype. Okay, so we have the constructor, and we have we can remove this and this we pass in the constructor prototype next we have to define the properties so here we have the name property and we can give property descriptors whether this name property is writable if i these are by default false everything is false so writable is false enumerable is false configurable is false and the value is the value okay if we console log box the way it is now you will see we have the object name bob and we have the greet function as well now if i see right up if i can change the name of bob so by doing bob name equals to not bob and it works we get no problem the name is not bob but if I say writable to false, which is the default, so if you can just comment out this, if you comment out this, it says uncaught error, type error. That is because it's not writable. Okay? That's what writable means. What enumerable means is when you're looping through object properties using this, something like this. Okay? Remove this console. And if you are looping through, we get one property. We have made enumerable true. So this property, when you're looping through, is C. If we put this to false or comment it out, it's not going to be in the caught in the loop. So that is what enumerable means. Okay, let's change that back to 
true and configurable configurable means true if true if and only if the type of this property descriptor may be changed so if i do false here and try to make it true again we can't do that it's not configurable so here we have true and of course finally the value is the value of the particular property okay so that is the object create method that we can use to create objects now there is this define properties uh, method in the object as well object as well now this takes in the object name of the property and the descriptor property descriptor object so if i do right now we have only name as our property we can have age and we can say we what we have to do is object dot define property the first has to be the object so bob is the object and next we have to have the property name so we have age next is the descriptors for that property so we have writable false and configurable true those are the things that we ha i have added and you can add change the value add the value as well value is 24 okay and if i yeah if i loop through we get oh so we we can't see it we can't see it in the full loop because the enumerable is set to false as default so let's make it true and we get 24 as well okay so that is defined property so if you want to add a new property to this custom object uh, you can do that okay and defined property is, is pretty much the same what it does it you can add multiple number of properties at once so we and we have the job and age two uh, properties we have added we can do that using the define properties method okay so that's about it for creating custom objects so please uh, just do it on your own just practice what we have learned all this time and i'll talk to you on the next lesson thanks for watching do subscribe do share and do like have a good day